Niemeyer has joined us this morning. We have a very important topic to discuss. It's Alzheimer's disease, and it's just devastating. I know you have a personal connection to someone that has experienced this. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, our mother passed away in April of 05 due to Alzheimer's, and uh, our father was able to take care of our mother up until about six months before her passing away. And uh, it's, a, it's a devastating disease. It, uh, it took its toll on our family. And uh, throughout the disease, uh, I educated myself as best I could and became involved with the Columbia office and benefited greatly from that. And uh, when my mother passed away, I decided at that time that I would do all I could to help other people who are going to be going through this disease. Well, that's good because those are the people who truly understand. You really just can't be prepared or understand until you experience it. But something like this walk where there's a lot of booths set up with all this information can really help. And so let's talk about the walk this weekend in Jefferson City. Our walk, the registration uh, begins at 11 o'clock and okay. it's Sunday, September 22nd. Okay. It's on the South Lawn of the Capitol Building. And uh, we will have a ceremony at 1230. The walk itself will begin at 1 o'clock, and there, the people participating will have a choice of two different walks, a shorter one that just goes around the Capitol building, and then a longer one that goes across the walking bridge and back to the Capitol building. There will be booths there uh, with information. The office from Columbia, or uh, Greater Missouri office, will be there. And uh, for anybody who has thoughts that maybe a loved one might have Alzheimer's or they themselves are dealing with Alzheimer's with a loved one. It's a wonderful opportunity for them to come and get information, to visit with other people, and uh, to get information about the, right, the which disease. Is, it's very important to be prepared um, and it helps you get through that struggle. And yes, it is a downer when it comes to this disease but the event itself is a lot of fun I was there last year I experienced it everybody was super positive smiles on everybody's faces so it really mm -hmm. is an event to be at um, whether you're associated with someone that is experiencing this um, illness or not that's correct it's free just to come that's now, correct taking donations you don't have to be a walker mm -hmm. to uh, attend so thank you very much for coming in you're and very we welcome you the best of luck this weekend thank you Zach earlier in the show we talked about the Alzheimer's walk that's taking place in Jefferson City this weekend and we also touched on how important it is to be educated on the subject itself. Um, you're joining us. This is Amelia Cottle, and she also has a personal connection with the disease. Can you tell me a little bit about that? My personal connection is my husband uh, is an Alzheimer's patient. He was diagnosed a year ago in April, and he's very young. Um, most people don't realize that Alzheimer's disease can also affect people in their 40s and 50s. Right. My husband was 52 years old when he was diagnosed. It's a devastating, devastating disease to anyone. And uh, we advocate because we can't change the disease and the progress of the disease, but our goal is to advocate. So we walk and yeah. we talk to people and we get up at ungodly hours of yes, the morning. thank you. And come here <laughs> and appreciate your help and your advocacy because educating people is what we can do to help. And you don't have to be a participant in these walks. You're here to talk about the Columbia Walk because yes. these walks are taking place all around the region. Mm -hmm. And yet, like Jefferson City's is this weekend. Mm -hmm. When's Columbia's? October 6th. Okay, so if you miss Jefferson City's, you got October 6th or just be at all of them because they are fun events. Uh, I always see a lot of booths out there. Uh, you mentioned the cheerleaders. Yes, it's just a very positive here. experience yeah. both for the people who are whose family members are affected and by the people who are Alzheimer's right. uh, and dementia patients. It's important to remember there's still joy in life even when you're diagnosed with such a devastating disease. There is joy to be found because there are people who care and people who support us and we right. really appreciate alone. that. There's a lot of people that are experiencing the same things and then some that aren't that are just there for you. Absolutely. And that's another good point to make. If you have no connection with this disease at all, 
you can still come out to these walks. You can donate. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any tips on someone who does want to get involved? If you would like to get involved, go to www. Uh, alzheimers.org. Mm -hmm. um, you can Google any Alzheimer's organization. The Greater Missouri Alzheimer's Association is our local, our regional group, okay. and they have supportive information for anyone. If you can't walk, donate. We need the money for research. That's what we use it for. Can you also register on that site? You can register on if that site. Absolutely. Look for a team or just register and come out if you'd like to.